<laughs> I'm at uh, the Mid-Atlantic Maryland Home and Garden Show with Richard Karn, actor from Home Improvement. Uh, Which guys, you did the voiceovers for. Well, I didn't do the voiceover she for She did the voiceover for the show. Yes, for, for this. For the Home and Garden Show. Thanks, that's so nice of you to like, uh, you know, props just, like that. Just a little. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> really nice to meet you. I asked you some questions earlier. Maybe I can just like ask you again. I don't know. I said, uh, are you in touch with Tim? Absolutely. You guys play golf sometimes, right? I see Tim. Uh, in fact, I saw him this Christmas. We went to the Christmas party. And that's when he asked me, he said, what, what do you think about a reboot? Mm -hmm. What do you and think? I, and I said, well, I'm in. But I had just had dinner with Matt Williams. And he's still mad at Disney for reasons, good reasons. But I said, they're not talking. And he goes, I've got them talking. I go, if you've got them talking, then anything is possible. Wow. Wow. OK, so you were kind of like the catalyst that maybe I, could make this Tim happen. Tim was the catalyst because he got them <laughs> talking to each other. But I knew that nothing was going to happen until they got together. I just didn't know how to get them together, and Tim did. Wow. So a reboot's a possibility, it's and a we'll possibility. find out. So I did ask what you're doing these days. You said you're doing a lot of theater. I'm doing theater. I'm doing little movies. Uh, I represent companies. Um, actually, I'm going to Kansas City in, in November to do uh, Sheer Madness. Oh, how fun. Yeah. And you're into the stage performing. Like you. Well, really I started in theater. Okay. You know, theater was my first love, and, and even though I'm older now, it's harder to remember lines so much, but I, I still get a, a thrill of doing something that just takes me out of my comfort zone. So cool. And speaking of memorizing lines, I asked you too, how do you do that? And you were just saying, well, you associate it with the character, you associate it with something else, and then it just kind of clicks or connects, Well, right? yeah, that's where rehearsal comes in. I mean, you can just go by rote, but if you go by rote, it, uh, there's there's a tendency that it's disconnected from your body in, in a weird way. Uh, so when you connect the movement or the the choreography or just the blocking of the play, it, it cements it cements the words and gives them imbibes them with more meaning. So cool, really yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, where can we expect to see you besides the stage arena? You're active in other stuff. I am. Uh, you never know. Yeah, you just don't know, know, know where I'm going to pop up. Such a down-to-earth guy, by the way, Richard. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to meet you. Yes, I did voice this, and that's the only reason I kind of knew about it. Well, good. You get it. If you wear flannel, you get in free. I mean, that's yeah. pretty cool. I mean, they let me in free. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. You were not charged a million dollars to walk through the door? I wasn't charged, but I gave them a million dollars. Is it? See? Sometimes you have to, you know. Just, look, everything can be worked out. Not that no doesn't happen, but everything's negotiable. It's the truth. <laughs> Richard, such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Uh, you're Googleable, clearly. I am. I am Googleable now. Google. Yeah, it's weird. It's like people can find out all sorts of stuff about you. Yeah. Oh, one last question. I did ask if uh, you knew what Pamela Anderson was up to these days. Kind and of a mystery. I. Don't I, I? You know, I used to get these calls from from people asking me. You know, Pam wanted me to ask you to talk about her. You know, for a book or for something. And a, okay. and then you know, every once in a while, I would just do something about you know how I met Pam or how we worked together and like that. And we had a really great uh, working relationship. But once she left the show, I just I kind of really never saw her that much. Again. Okay. You did, did you watch Baywatch at all? I didn't watch Baywatch. Okay. I, uh, I, I was doing other things. I watched, I gotta say this really quick, I watched Baywatch before the rest of the world watched Baywatch. Okay. When it was Erica Aleniak and it was uh, Billy Warlock. Wow. They were a great team. It was actually about saving lives. Wow. What a concept. Well, isn't that what the reboot was? I, With The Rock? Weren't they saving to, lives? I, that's the idea. It doesn't always turn out that way, though, yeah. does it? No. Richard Karn, thank you so very much for chatting with me. Such a pleasure to meet you. My pleasure. All right.